Big names in Nigeria's music industry, including DJ Jimmy Jack, T.Y. Mix, Yaya, and a couple of others, stepped out to support Project Fame 2015 winner Jeff Acker at the listening party for his debut album. Here's how that went down. My call, if you are not mine, would I have the strength to stand? Following what many have described as a good introduction into the music industry in 2015 via the music reality talent show Project Fame, singer Jeff Akor begins the second chapter in his musical career with the release of his debut album Lokaja. Here he hosts industry influencers as well as some of his supportive and well-established colleagues to listening sessions before the album hits mainstream stands. With Jeff, there's a chemistry, you know, like I rightly said, you know, I've known him for a bit, you know, so working with him was, was, uh, was easy, you know, he's also a very super talented guy, he's someone that all he needs is direction, once you tell him what to do, he'll do it, you know, and he'll do it very well, you know, it, it was good, it was effortlessly, it was, it was effortless, actually. Veteran DJ Jimmy Jats, Project Fame judge and accomplished music producer T.Y. Mix, celebrated acts and Project Fame alumni Yaya and Bisola are all on ground to help 20-year-old Ako present his first body of work titled Lokoja. These are people that have listened to thousands of songs. So um, for them to actually um, not even give a nod or a sigh of appreciation to your music, then you're doing something right, you get me? So I was, I was just, um, I was overwhelmed to be very honest, to even be in the presence of such um, important people that are, are going to my career. Born and raised in the federal capital city Abuja, Akko has consistently sought a platform to share his music to the world. Before Project Fame, where he carted away the coveted winning prize, he appeared in a number of other music talent shows, but failed to make the cut. He also drew strength from earlier disappointments to keep forging ahead, and the result is this multi-genre body of work. Lokoja, um, conference state, my music is spreads out to different places, so it's, it's, it's simple logic. Conference, it, it meets is a, is a meeting point, and a meeting point is where um, it spreads from there. You get me. So that's about it. My music um, um, appeals to different crowds, different places, different people. At at a certain point, there are different songs that sound in different ways to you. So that's about it. That's that's why I called the Lokoja, and I'm from I'm also from Kogi State. Big ups to Kogi State. So yeah, that's that's it. That's it. An early single from the album Shokoloko Bangboshi, produced by the dexterous Kobam Zasukua, is clearly influenced by raving American singer and choreographer Bruno Mars. Young Jeff explains how the track came to be. I was in the studio, Kobam said he wanted to make something crazy, he wanted to make something different, he wanted to merge different um, genres of music together. I was excited and he made the beat and we, we bounced on it and it was great, so that's it. Iyaya was the winner of the inaugural edition of the show and he helps us understand what pressure Jeff might be going through at the moment. Tension man, you know just that tension, that pressure, oh my god, are they gonna like it, are they not gonna like it? You know, everybody, every musician has been there. The most important thing is he's humble, he's hardworking, and very gifted. So I'm, I'm sure he's, and he's with Temple, so you know, the, he's the, move, the movement, so he's all right. In recent times, artists have shied away from recording albums, as many believe its economic value has been diminished. Jimmy Jack who has well over two decades of experience in the industry insists there are still positives to following the vintage principle of hard copy albums. As an artist, you have to have uh, documentation. That's what I believe. Uh, you put out singles, that's one song, yeah, and there. 
you need a body of work, you know, you, we need to be able to get a hold of. Uh, I think as an artist, you must always aspire to look beyond just that immediate commercial value. And what singles give you is just immediate commercial value in terms of, okay, your single can blow like they say, but it blows and then the light goes off and the single is dead. But if you, got, if, you, if you make an album, there's a body of work, that's what your kids are going to get. That's what your great-grandchildren are going to see and say, my dad was once part of this.